If I was the devil, I would have my servants make it impossible to mention them without censorship, prosecution, or even death. The only elite the people would know are the faces of actual proxies and expendables, an army of fall guys fed to the masses when they have become useless, leaders controlled through a blackmail and illegal enrichment. If I was the devil, I would have my servants own the three major influences over governments and culture, financial institutions, entertainment and media. If I was the devil, I would have my servants fund manifold narratives so the public would never really know what was going on. Also in much confusion, they would fund opposing narratives to provide them conduits to act and create more chaos and violence needed to support opposing platforms and control the conversation and monitor the temperament of the people. If I was the devil, I would have my servants pass laws to destabilize the family, encourage the courts to render judgments that divide the family unit, and empower police to enforce the will of the courts against the people. I would do this over decades to bring the people to such anger they could be used as a tool when the time is ripe. If I was the devil, I would have my servants create laws to disenfranchise people from their properties, enforce eminent domain procedures to steal lands from those who own them, and make owning a home cost one half their life in labour to create mass discontent and anger that can be used when the time comes. If I was the devil, I would have my servants use every mouthpiece and pen of the publishing and entertainment industry to make people feel their are victims of other races, that they have been held back personally because of how their forefathers were unfairly treated. Divided socially, the people cannot rise up as a united front. If I was the devil, I would have my servants fund both sides of conflict, ensuring the increase in wealth and control over the outcomes, be they conflicts, wars or invasions. The national loans would be provided to the military-industrial complex companies that are also controlled. If I was the devil, I would have my servants introduce a destabilization event that gives governments unchecked power over their people to enforce lockdowns, movement restrictions, fuel consumption, and even liberty over their own apparel bodies. If I was the devil, I would have my servants create inflation, shortages, Fear of famine that all adds to the desperation of the people in new leadership, steadily building to the narrative with news reports and social media videos and podcasts until a new leader is approved or provided. If I was the devil, I would have my servants employ a revived Bolshevik psyop, which would be necessary to keep the American patriots neutralized as many other operations are conducted for which the Biden administration can a future date take the fall for, convey the behind scenes and all that is going according to plan, that the good guys are going to be in control. If I was the devil, I would have my servants promote NASA and other space technology companies to keep attention on the skies, as I have vast networks of underground facilities built for my elite to ride out the coming storm. I would enforce massive public funding of NASA, CRN, and other projects produce stories and reports to show that they are performing their duties so that the people would know not that these are really instruments of taxation to fleece the people for more wealth that's redirected to build the underground infrastructure started in the 1950s. If I was the devil, I would have my servants publicize trucker convoys as patriotic movements and build around them a controversy so as to normalize the sight of these convoys that are actually moving immense loads of freight into underground facilities. If I was the devil, I would have my servants tap into major source of undocumented laborers for my underground facilities by creating a border crisis and then using my military transports to ferry the influx of immigrant workers into my underground construction projects. If I was the devil, I would have my servants disclose the existence of a medbeds, which is half-truth, for the technology does exist, but these are installed in deep earth biospheres and will never roll out in the public. If I was the devil, I would have my servants repackage the worldwide financial system the people have resisted for decades into something the people will themselves beg for, changing its name to the quantum financial system. This is the same beast, but now packaged as a product of the Patriots and the Fourth Reich. 
If I was the devil, I would have my servants continually feed the public information of the threat of more and more X flares and possibility of EMP interference with our infrastructure. So when the time comes to take down the internet, the story is already in place. If I was the devil, I would have my servants incessantly feed the public information about the possibility of an alien civilization near us, of the threat of possible alien invasion. In this way, the actions of the military-industrial complex can be masked as otherworldly. If I was the devil, I would have my servants continually bring to the public attention the possibility of a meteorite impact, then when it's time to destroy a target, an explanation is already in place. If I was the devil, I would have my servants use the media, social platforms, publications and radio to create in the people a loathing for their current leadership, publicise the misdeeds of the world leaders in financial sector and those responsible for the worldwide mistrust and anger and continually show the public the utter ineptitude and ridiculousness of the current administration. So when it is time to install the well-disguised puppet leader, the people to themselves will vote him in. If I was the devil, I would have my servants create a theatre of conflict, of war, and the threat that this violence could spread to the home front. Build the narrative until the people will gather around any man of peace. I provide them. If I was the devil, I would have my servants allow public sexual exploitation grow for decades. Strip clubs, legalised prostitution in Vegas, popularised porn sites, services so when the time is right, take it all away from the people. Criminalising these activities will result in mass convictions to fill prison industries and for all others provide them a substitute. What they can't do in real life anymore can be done in a new virtual reality technology offered to the people. So discord and discontent everywhere and give the people just enough to keep them from searching and reaching their tipping point. Keep the majority lulled into a sense of false security through artificial virtual reality where they can escape the rising puritanical extremism of the coming Christian Reich. Now that the ones that aren't on board have gone, I can give you some real information. If you have read or studied the Bible, you will know of this. The Pharisees or Pharaohs or elite brought forth to Jesus a woman whom committed adultery and had placed the responsibility on Jesus for her punishment. However, in Roman law, if he had caused the death of this lady, he would have been sentenced himself. For she hath sinned, any man, woman, or child who hath not sinned may cast the first stone. Jesus' response to this was ingenious. For in Roman law, if Jesus caused the death of a woman, he would have been arrested. Jesus was a man to be interpreted spiritually to the fullest. I can't prove that point in this video. However, I can point to you to someone who already has Archaics or Jason Bashir's This same quote I got from him, which is from the Ephesian Bible 6.12 For we wrestle not of flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So let me disclose he produces extremely unique content, and if you are not prepared, it will ruffle your feathers and challenge possibly everything you've ever known. And that is me. Thank you.